Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about bounded sequences. So here suppose we have a sequence like this. So uh, and if if there exists a constant k such that all terms of the sequence uh, is less than or equal to k, that means we in this case we have a ceiling. So this is the ceiling k, k, all terms of this sequence is bounded by, by k, right? So that, uh, that is called, the sequence is called, if the sequence is called bounded above, right? So suppose, uh, so there exists, exists, a constant say m dash or k dash here otherwise you get confused with this one I don't know here there are uh, students who are doing high math so that's why I am so here we suppose there exists a constant k dash such that that k and uh, the all terms all terms in the, of the sequence is bigger than that number k dash right so in this case the sequence is called bounded below so the, so this is the flow so here so you are in between flow and ceiling right so you are bounded by you are bounded below and above, right? So like that. So this has a bound, bounded below. This is the bounded below. So this is the floor and this is the ceiling. The sequence has a ceiling. All terms, all terms of the sequence, of the sequence is bounded above. So this is called bounded below. If there exists a constant, a k dash such that uh, all terms greater than or equal to k dash right and if the sequence is bounded above you have to show that uh, if uh, so if uh, if uh, there exists a constant k such that all terms of the sequence has all terms uh, of the sequence is less than or equal to that number right then we call that sequence is bounded above if you want to visualize what a bounded above sequence means so let's try to represent that so this is your sequence uh, to, to, to. Uh, this one is here so so these are so this is a this one right this one is bounded by bounded above above by this number k if the old terms of the sequence uh, is smaller than less than or equal to this value then then to any number, then we say this sequence is bounded above. Bounded below, let's uh, try to visualize that one also, right? So, so you have a sequence, uh, right? Something like this, right? So this sequence does not go beyond this value can grab the value k dash right so all terms of the sequence are bigger than this value that means the sequence is bounded below if if you have a sequence uh, which is bounded above and below we call it we call it bounded sequence we call it bounded sequence 
right? So let's take an example. So let's consider 1 over n, the sequence of 1 over n. So you know that the so this term, this, these are the terms of this sequence. Let's uh, put, let's choose few uh, terms of the sequence. You know that this sequence converges, converges to zero. So this is the first term. First term, so first term, the value of first term is one here. Yeah. One and next term is one half uh, this, this is going something like this decreasing to zero so if you consider this sequence so you can find uh, so this sequence you know that all terms you know 1 over n if you consider 1 over n so this one is always greater than or equal to 0 this one is uh, greater than this one is bigger than 0 right and and you know you if you plug 1 into here then 1 over 1 that is your first term and one half second term one third third term so all terms of the sequence is less than or equal. so all terms of the sequence are less than or equal to one so so we can say this sequence is bounded below by zero this sequence is bounded above by one or any number you can grab any number one or can say two or you can say thousand any number any number you so this sequence is bounded by this number or you can say not zero say negative one uh -huh, all terms are bigger than negative one so there exists a number such that all terms are so this is the flow of that sequence and this one there you can find infinitely many flows or you can find infinitely many ceilings right so this sequence the 1 over n is a bounded sequence because it is bounded above and below because of that 1 over n is a bounded sequence right and the other important theorem is every bounded monotonic sequence is convergent so so this one is very useful right if you want to find uh, yeah if you want to uh, determine convergent sequence or or it is divergent or convergent you can determine whether it is convergent or not so if you have a monotonically monotonic sequence which is bounded then you can say that sequence is convergent that means that sequence converges to a number some finite number right so let's uh, do couple of couple of examples uh, on that so let's take this sequence again uh, 1 over n you know that this one uh, is bounded bounded below and bounded above and you can show that so you know that this one is monotonically decreasing and there's a, a flow here so this sequence is monotonically decreasing and bounded below because of that, this sequence is convergent. So this sequence, this sequence converges to zero. You can show that. You know that this sequence converges to zero, the value zero, right? So let's talk about 
another example uh, if you consider 1 plus 1 over n or minus yeah let's consider this one your a n sequence this is your sequence Uh -huh. A n is defined by this one, 1 minus 1 over n, right? So let me write that one. We'll write this one. So, so if you, if you want to, so let's visualize this uh, sequence. Uh, first term, just plug 1 into here, then you can find first term. First term is 0 and second term 1 minus 1 half, 1 half, right? And uh, uh, it is increasing, right? It is increasing. So you can show that this sequence is increasing and that, that so going like this. And also this sequence is bounded is this sequence is bounded above so bounded above or as well as bounded below the sequence is bounded so bounded above by one or any number you can say any number you can take any number because all are upper bounds, all are upper bounds. You can say this one is bounded above by one or two hundred thousand, anything you can choose and can pick any number, right? So, so all terms, all terms are less than or equal to two, right? Or, or one, right? You can say like that. So, so this sequence is bounded above and increasing. Therefore, according to that theorem there, where's that theorem? Where's that theorem? Ah, uh, here. According to that theorem, that sequence is convergent. So this sequence is convergent. So we know that this uh, so this term becomes this the limit of this term is zero as n tends to infinity. The one minus one over n approaches one. We know that. But here we have discussed this theorem here. Every bounded monotonic sequence is convergent. Uh, this one is very important, right? Very important. Every bounded, bounded, bounded monotonic sequence is convergent, right? So, so in in the lecture note, uh, they have, there are some examples, couple of examples. You can go through that, and I'll give you some uh, exercises on bounded sequences and monotonic sequences, and 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 you have to use this theorem. So you, then you have to. So to use that theorem, you want to find, so you have to show that it is bounded or bounded above or below and monotonic increasing or decreasing. So if the, if that sequence is bounded above and monotonically increasing, then the sequence is convergent. If the, if the sequence, if your sequence is bounded below and monotonically decreasing the sequence in your hand is convergent right like that i will give some exercise mm, exercises on that 
so i hope you understood what i did in this video i think we covered the sequence part now i will start of uh, the series part uh, maybe end of, at the end of this week right right see you.